Hello, today we are going to be discussing how to stop singing from your throat. This is a really controversial topic because your larynx, your voice box, where your vocal folds reside, is in your throat. So technically, you are always singing from your throat. But usually when people use the phrase singing from the throat, what they really mean is that we have throat tension and we're not properly using our diaphragmatic support. Let's break this down in a super simple way. Your vocal folds reside in your larynx or voice box that sits at the top of your windpipe. As we exhale, we can bring our vocal folds together and they will vibrate over top of this airflow to make noise. In order to have powerful notes, we need to have a lot of air pressure hitting our vocal folds from below. There are two different ways for you to achieve this air pressure that will give you a powerful voice. The first way is to take in the appropriate sized breath into your lower lungs, which should cause your stomach to expand and your shoulders will not move. And then as you sing, engaging your core, which is gonna push that air up your windpipe and give you lots of air pressure to create that powerful note. Using your diaphragmatic support and proper breathing is really important because you can control the amount of airflow and the amount of air pressure that you're putting on your vocal folds, which helps you create more dynamics and frankly just makes you a more interesting singer. Let's say that you're not breathing into your low lungs, but instead you're taking shallow upper lung breaths like this. If you're doing this and you're not engaging your core while you sing, you probably don't have enough airflow to create the amount of air pressure you need below your vocal folds to create powerful and loud notes. Instead, you are using the external muscles in your neck to squish your windpipe. Let's compare this to a garden hose. If you want there to be more water pressure coming out of the end of your hose, you can do two things. You can either turn up the water flow, AKA engage your core and turn up the airflow, or you can pinch the hose. And when you make the hose smaller, it then increases the water pressure coming out of the end of the hose. So this is the same thing with your voice. We can engage our muscles and constrict our windpipe, and this will also help to increase the amount of air pressure hitting our vocal folds from below. The problem with this is that you are squishing your larynx and you're squishing your vocal folds. You're also making all your resonance chambers smaller. And this type of tension leads to straining, leads to injury, and leads to notes that don't sound beautiful and resonant, but sound forced instead. So the first thing that you need to do if you wanna stop singing from your throat is practicing low diaphragmatic breaths. This means leaving your shoulders down and pushing your stomach out when you inhale so that you're getting into those lower lungs. And you may feel like you're actually just physically pushing your stomach out for the first while instead of it naturally going out while you breathe in. And that is a-okay. The diaphragm muscle is going to get stronger and this will get more natural feeling over time. We can practice our big diaphragmatic breaths using box breathing where we inhale for a certain count, hold for a certain count, exhale for a certain count, and then hold again. We can use these long controlled diaphragmatic breaths to strengthen our diaphragm, but I do wanna say we don't wanna be using really huge diaphragmatic breaths when we're actually singing because that will lead to you having way too much air, which is a whole different problem. Let's do it on a count of four. One, two, three, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four. The second thing that you wanna do to stop singing from your throat is to let go of neck and throat tension. You can stretch out your throat by sustaining a yawn position. <sighs> and you can swallow afterward to bring your larynx back to a normal position if it feels a bit odd after stretching it out. Now I'm gonna do some neck rolls to loosen up, try to get that tension out of there. You can go ear to shoulder, just make sure that your chin is pointing up at the ceiling and not down towards your shoulder. Other side. 
getting your body nice and loose, especially shoulders up, is going to help you so much as a singer. Now, the third and really most important tip is to engage your core when you sing, especially when you're going for those high and powerful notes. <laughs> a few other tips that are gonna help you stop singing from your throat is to move your body while you sing. Even if you're just pacing around the room or swaying, this is gonna help you stop accumulating tension in your neck and shoulders. You can also look at yourself in a mirror while you sing to make sure that you're not seeing any of these muscles sticking out of your neck. It can also be really helpful to use a microphone when you sing. Oftentimes, if you can hear yourself more, if you can turn up the volume of your voice, a lot of the tension just melts away. If you have any other tips to help stop singing from your throat, leave them in the comments. Mm -hmm.